Hey guys, welcome to Nalai Shadows. Thank you for everyone who participated in the cord cutting ceremony. I will be doing a New Year blessing ceremony if you would like to participate. That one is going to be $20 each because it is going to be a strong Saint Expedite manifesting to bring in blessings. A very special ceremony um, with a lot more um, items that I will be using. So if you guys are interested, it will be $20 per person. That will be towards the end of the year. I haven't chosen the specific date yet. Um, the 22nd is sounding promising for some reason, but um, I will put a post out. So keep an eye out on the community board um, with the Knight of Swords already. It's like, yes, take action. Um, there's definitely positive movement here. And with the sign of Taurus and Gemini, it's almost like um, stability through um, receiving some type of intuitive downloads. So that will be a future group ceremony for financial blessings for the new year, 2023. Thank you all for who participated in the cord cutting. We're going to get started with the reading. These are general messages. I'm using the Tarot of Ceremonial Magic, which I really like. This is what the cards look like. And this is what the deck looks like. I had this delivered to me from... I think it was like Italy or Romania, I can't remember, but it took a while to get here, so I really love using these. I only use them for special occasions or when I feel like it's right energy and I feel like the time is right for these, okay? So please like and subscribe. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're existing, thank you so much. I appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments, and all the good-hearted, warm energies that you guys send me. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you. So let's see. General messages from Spirit. What do you need to know? What are the messages for the collective, please? For my viewers, please, that are watching. Oh, we have two loves. Two <laughs> okay, I heard two loves. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> I heard two loves. I was going to say true love. So the two of cups, I really like this card because it's two little Sunday ice creams here. So you guys may have a love offer. I'm also getting the love of yourself is what's making you blossom, grow, bloom, have success, be able to manifest because you're in the frequency of love. The color pink, Archangel Shamuel coming through. And with the nine of discs, this is allowing you to manifest a lot of stability to two, two financial blessings will be coming on the horizon for you with the princess of swords. It's because you are communicating with your spiritual team. You're not afraid to connect with them. You're asking them for guidance and you are in the energy of gratitude as well. What else does the collective need to know, spirit? There we go. So we got two cards here. The first one is the four of cups. It talks about blended in pleasure luna and cancer so you guys might be highly intuitive i'm also getting for some of you you could be offering um, the energy of love to your spiritual team for those who do practice that type of energy but i feel like just being in the essence of love you're in love great emotions you love life like you're very happy here it's a time of rest and to connect and with the six of discs it's material success in taurus some of you guys could be a taurus you're dealing with a taurus or you could have that placement, take what resonates, because these, this is a general message. It's not a private reading. So if it doesn't apply to you and you're like, I'm not a Taurus, whatever, then it's not for you. That message could be for somebody else because I have a lot of people watching. So please keep an open mind about that. I'm also seeing you guys have unlocked or opened a portal to connect to your spiritual team. Some type of guidance, guidance or guardian is what I'm hearing. 333 angel number and that is connecting to you and you're surrounded by the energy of love. I do see stability here. And whatever offerings you have been given, you're able to communicate better. You can connect more. You're more connected to your spiritual team. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps. Yeah. With the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups, it's like they never left you. If anything, you could have disconnected from them if you felt blocked. You're not blocked anymore. You never were. You blocked yourself is what I'm hearing. Yeah, with the Emperor, it's like you're in control. I'm getting like Apollo, Poseidon, kind of like Norse also. Mythology, Greek, Greek gods is what I'm getting with this. With the Ace of Swords, I feel like, so two messages, either you're going to receive some type of information from somebody, this card wants to come out, what is this? The Queen of Wands. So you're receiving some type of information from um, some type of a deity. I'm also getting you are stepping into being in control of yourself. Um, your mental health is improving. You're overcoming challenges and obstacles. You're seeing the truth about something. For those of you who resonate with Archangel Michael, he is here. He is protecting you and he is shielding you. Whoever you connect with, all you have to do is ask and they are with you. 444 Angel Number with the Three of Cups talks about abundance, success, the fruits of your labor, finally paying off mind, body, and spirit, the power of three. Some of you connect with Hecate. And they say that the star card, Aquarius energy, 
You've either asked Hecate or the Morning Star is what I'm hearing. And they have listened and you are learning how to connect more. I heard commune with spirits. Um, some of you guys have a goblet. You're rearranging your altar. Or there's something about clearing out space. There is a shift, some type of a change, but it will bring you a lot of happiness with the Queen of Pentacles. It's actually bringing you stability. Some of you guys may connect with the Horned God or some type of a um, darker energy is what I'm getting here, like a Goetia spirit. Yeah, it's like you've done like some type of a, the lesser banishing pentagram, like you've shielded the triangle. You guys may have like certain types of divination tools where you are scrying with a mirror or you have like something black obsidian, but you're, you're shielded, you're protected, and you're able to connect with whatever this energy is. With the four of wands, it's like you have perfected some type of spiritual practice. And with the princess of wands, it has been received. You may work with a fire element or you have a fire placement in your natal chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 555. You're very passionate about what you want. Um, and because of that, um, you do have these energies coming towards you to help you, to guide you, to allow you to move forward and overcome challenges. It's like, um, I'm seeing like when people are athletic and they hop over like those little fences or something, like you're literally overcoming challenges left and right. So let's see what else there. What's the message for the collective? What do they need to know? What is your guidance for them? The five of wands. Whoever hurt you, some of you guys could be stressed out. I'm really getting that whoever hurt you, it's going to turn back towards them. But let's clarify the five of wands. What's the five of wands for the collective, please? Five of wands. The Wheel of Fortune. If you felt burdened by some type of financial success or can't have financial gain, yeah, with the Ten of Wands, someone could be trying to burden you in this aspect with the Five of Swords or going to have a hollow victory. The Wands are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Scorpio. The Four of Discs and the Eon, which to me is like the universe. You have literally access to Egyptian deities or it could be um, some otherworldly type of energy that you connect with. I'm getting Osiris for some of you or Anubis. I am getting that type of energy. I do feel that you are shielded in all times and places from whatever it is that happened. Some of you guys could have lit a black candle for protection. Yeah, with Eight of Wands. It's like, I'm also getting like the runes for some of you also. Mercury and Sagittarius. Some of you guys are Sagittarius or you have a fire placement or... There's something I'm also getting if you don't have a fire placement, you should try Vedic astrology because you could have a placement there because I know like it's a little bit different. But I do feel like you are connected. I heard the sun got raw and horse. So you guys have some type of Egyptian deity. I'm also getting if you lit a candle to Anubis, he heard you and he is helping you or a dark goddess. This could be Lilith, Hecate. Um, I always hear Sekhmet and Kali. Um, there is another one. Durga. I hope I'm saying that right. Durga um, is another goddess that i'm hearing and santa muerte of course look at that the devil why the devil for the collective got two cards here the three of swords and the hierophant okay so basically this is going into somebody doing um spell work against you Someone was doing spell work or they paid a witch doctor and they were watching you to see what was the outcome. Yeah, with the Nine of Swords, someone was trying to send you a psychic attack. This is a completely separate message than what I was saying initially. This is something that happened in the past. It could be a Scorpio or a Gemini because the Nine of Swords says um, despair and cruelty in Gemini. And then the Six of Cups says pleasure in Scorpio. So it's like they took pleasure in harming you with the moon. Someone's spell work didn't happen. That's what I'm getting. If someone was trying to do harm towards you, yeah, like with the Six of Swords, you have victory and success. Moving forward, Mercury and Aquarius. Um, the way this card flew left um, with the Hermit Virgo energy, this person could have been trying to harm you in secret, sending you the evil eye the way his stare is so fixated on something. 9-11, Archangel Michael, protect you or something, dude. Because I am seeing that you are protected. I'm also getting the, um, what's it called? You guys ever watching Glorious Bastards with Brad Pitt and um, I forget the guy who plays the the bad guy, but you know how he goes nine 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 and he's like yelling, he's upset. That's literally what I'm seeing here. Someone who was very negative, very mean and cruel, and they purposely wanted to harm you in secret. It didn't work, is what I'm getting because you have the Six of Swords. You are protected. 
some of you guys did like an uncrossing or an unhexing spell. Whatever you guys did, you're protected from this negative low vibrational energy. They were trying to ruin a lot of your blessings. They were trying to block your intuition. They were trying to cause confusion because I'm hearing the spirit of confusion. But that confusion did not take place because you had faith with strength, Lilith, for some of you. There was like this energy of you reaching out for help. And with the Ten of Cups, your spiritual team stepped in because you guys never gave up. Perfected perfected success mars in pisces so you guys always had that energy of love you never stopped believing that your spiritual team was there to help you and because of that it's almost like you were being tested like do you really have faith in your spiritual team or are you going to allow negative energies to overpower you because you are focused on the energy of fear instead of the energy of knowing that you are safe that you are protected by a higher power by your spiritual team who's very strong who's very um protective of you and with that we have justice libra energy so you guys could have been a little bit um feeling unsure or feeling insecure or feeling worried because that is what this energy here was trying to send to you but it didn't work because you have happiness emotional fulfillment and justice this person is getting heavy heavy karma for whatever they did. Someone's name could be Art. Or you like to do Art. 11-11 as I say that. But I heard Art. So that could be a significant message for someone out there. Final message for the collective. So I can close this up please. I heard close at 13. So we'll, we will close the reading at 13 minutes. The Princess of Cups. You left an offering or you did something very significant to your spiritual team. They heard you. They connected with you. They kind of were able to channel through you like you're a vessel you're a medium for some of you yeah the four of swords it helped clear out any type of unnecessary negative thinking patterns that someone was trying to send to you you're finally in a more better place there's no more psychic attacks there's no mental anguish with jupiter and libra we are on thursday thor's day thursday is the energy of jupiter so justice is being served with regards to a financial situation you have a money blessing you have a job you have a promotion you have a business you got something coming towards you that's going to be very positive with the Prince of Wands, someone is upset here is what I'm getting, that they cannot harm you. They cannot cause an imbalance with the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Someone was trying to keep you in a stuck circle with Orboros blocking your third eye, your intuition. Sagittarius Capricorn. But with the High Priestess, you are a chosen one. You're highly protected. I really am getting Ishtar, Inanna, Lilith vibes from this. Some of you guys are also associated with Nyx. I'm hearing Goddess Selene. There are so many deities and energies that I am feeling right now because I'm reading for the collective. So you guys will know if I mention your specific um, deity or goddess that you connect with. I feel that you will know that this is for you. Um, with the Ten of Swords, anything that was in secret has come to an end. With the Knight of Cups, they wanted to end your happiness, your love of self. They wanted you to not have faith, but with the Death card, I really do feel Santa Muerte came in to help you, to shield you and protect you from whatever the hell this was. It's come fucking nonsense is what I'm hearing. And it's 13 as I said that. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, expect abundance, success, fruition, progress. Everything is going to be successful. Whatever delay, 1313, it didn't happen because you continue to leave offerings to your spiritual team. You continue to reach out. You continue to ask for help. You never lost your faith no matter how bad you felt. And mind, body, spirit by the power of three. Hecate also coming through. Thank you for all the energies that came through. Um, they are here to help you and they did help you, 1331. Five of Cups, whoever tried to hurt you with the universe as the world card has come to an end with this full moon. And now you have nothing but blessings coming your way. So that's what I have for you, Collective. I hope this was helpful. The final card is the Magist, the Magician. You are the great work. You are in this energy and your practices are heavily connected to the Most High because you are not associating with harming anyone. And because of that, you are definitely receiving blessings. So very beautiful reading, very challenging times that you experienced. However, you have overcame this. So with that, I will end your reading. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. And let me know in the comments if you want to see a different type of reading or if this resonated for you at all. Thank you so much, you guys. I send you many blessings. Bye.